I just picked up this fertilizer spreader off Amazon. Uh, I'm going to unbox it, put it together, and uh, hopefully you guys learn a thing from this or I can help you assemble yours. Okay, everything comes pre-packaged in little packages with all your parts. Two pneumatic tires, a set of grills for any chunks in your fertilizer, and a cover. One difficult thing, in the instructions they refer to the nuts and bolts that hold it together, the handle, as an H6. On the package, they refer to it as a M6 by 60 hex bolt. It'd be nice if the directions were the same um, as the parts list. Put the lower two supports on. I'm just going to leave them a little loose in case I have to readjust anything and then I'll tighten everything down at the end. Looks like the hole here will end up with the placement for the hole here as well. Put that on and make sure the hole lines up. There. Looks like that goes through. holes, line up the holes. These, I'm just going to tighten them up a bit and then we'll slunk them right down later. So the end of this is threaded. I take this, I go like this, and it should thread into here. Got that lined up. Okay, that's fairly snug. We'll, we'll leave that and we'll tighten it up at the end. lined up. Put the spinner on the differential. Add. Put the spinner on. Like that, facing the veins facing up. Hole and the screw up, flossing these little tiny things. Grab your screwdriver and tighten her down. The bushing, we have a rod, a 
This is our axle shaft through the frame. There's the differential. Through the other frame. Okay. This one. Tighten all the way down. Put that on. Line it up. Okay, that's snug down. Being I have most of the assembly complete, I'm going to start snugging everything up here. Okay, the tub is tightened down. Note, hopper will not drop straight down onto the hopper frame. Maneuver the hopper until the slide gate is under the hopper frame. And we got that. At this point, it has you choose between two different types of augers. Whether you want to put this one in for fertilizer or seed, or if you have uh, material that can be higher moisture content that has the ability to clump you would put this one in. I'm using this as a fertilizer cedar spreader so I will use this one. Okay, that's down. Now we want to put the connecting rod onto these pieces. Oh, the connecting rod. Oh. We put this through like that. And it says rotate it to lock it in. And we put this piece like that. These are extras that I didn't use. For an adjustment screw, it kind of sucks having to thread a nylon locking nut all the way up for something that could have just been a normal nut. So this is a little boring. I apologize. But when you have to thread a nut, Two and a half inches on as per the directions. Okay. I'm gonna put this one through. Put our other nut on. And oh, this is gonna be awesome. Threading it that far. Thankfully, I have ratcheting. to thread this nut all the way up. Um, I think that thread is a little excessive. Um, low points on that one, guys. This adjustment rod. Okay. Cotter pin through, done. I'm going to put these end caps in the bottom here. Okay, now we're going to adjust the control gate. Set this linkage so now we get to adjust this one back down. There, 
have the nylon starting to let go so I can actually do it by hand a little bit now. So after working on this for a while, um, it wasn't really a hard thing to assemble. Some of the things were just more frustrating, like the excessive length of bolts and the adjustment rod for the slide gate. In the end, it was a fairly easy assembly, just diff like frustrating. Um, looks like it's going to be a good thing. We'll give it a try, see how it works. All in all, the instructions were decent. It would have been nice if they had the uh, um, parts descriptions the same on the blister packs that they came in as they were referencing in the instructions. But all in all, we got through and it wasn't too bad. So if you like this type of video, um, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. If I did something to make myself look foolish, point it out. That way uh, somebody else won't follow my example and just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.